occupational therapist, and I wanted to show you some mobilization that you can be doing with an individual or your loved one after they possibly have had a stroke or they have significant weakness on one side of their body. I'm going to be specifically focusing on the shoulder and scapular mobi mobilization. So in this situation, if her right side was her weaker side, I would help to cradle her arm. And what's really important, if I'm going to start moving her weakened extremity, I want to make sure that the shoulder and scapula are working in unison or together. Very frequently, our shoulder blade or scapula will become stiff and rigid and does not move with the shoulder. So I don't want to be pulling and lifting on her arm without initially promoting some mobilization or movement at her shoulder blade. So this is the very top of her shoulder blade. We can all kind of feel this bony prominence that's called the spine. Then I can come in and I can feel the um, vertebral inside border and I can hold on to that. So I'm using the bony areas of her shoulder blade to grab on and to assist with the mobilization. So as I am bringing her right arm up, I want the shoulder blade, as you can see, it begins to move out to the side and it's kind of following my index finger. You want to definitely stop if the individual is complaining of pain. You might feel some resistance. I might pause at that point of resistance and then see if I can go a little bit further. I like doing this mobilization with the arm directly in front of them as if they were reaching out to shake someone's hand and opening up the chest. So slowly bringing their arm out to the side and doing the same mobilization and the same work. If I go through all joints of the arm, I want to mobilize the shoulder. Another movement that can be tight and restrictive on the weaker side is this motion. I'm holding her arm in close to her body as I'm bringing her arm out to the side, rotating it out. This is actually the motion we use when we comb our hair, wash uh, the back of our head. So this motion is really important for reaching up, pulling your shirt off, and for care, hair care and so on. So I like to work on this mope or movement. It's important we work on elbow. The other motion that might be tight is uh, individuals difficulty in fully extending or straightening the elbow. Inward will usually be easier. As I move down the arm, I like to work on right now, she has her palm up. So I like to work on rotating the palm up and also down. And if I'm doing this rotation, I don't like to grab at the fingers and twist. I really like to use these two larger bones in our forearm to rotate the hand. And then the last motion that I like to work on or look at is fingers and uh, wrist. If somebody has really tight hand due to their tone, if you gently apply pressure at their wrist downward, their fingers will naturally begin to open. As I bring her wrist back, you, and she just relaxes her fingers, they will naturally close. So that's another way that you can help to get, uh, first of all, movement at the wrist, but also to try and get some finger straightening or extension. We can achieve that by wrist down.